If you're anything like me, you remember the first time you're watching BNA, you're like, wow, this episode is really good. I guess I'm just going to go ahead and go on to the second one now because it was like such a good show. But then wait, before that happens, you see the end credits and you're like, wow, I didn't notice how fly Michiru's outfit is. I want to wear that. How do I do it? That's exactly what we're looking at today. How to dress like Michiru Kagemori, step one. The first thing that stood out to me with Michiru's outfit is her awesome red track jacket. Michiru has this neat red track jacket that has two stripes on the side and the pockets have white little things on them. The most obvious and readily available option would be a red Adidas track jacket because all of their track jackets have those three stripes on the side. And that's exactly what I picked up, a red Adidas track jacket. I got really, really lucky and actually found this at Marshalls for 25 bucks. I usually wear a men's small, and this is actually a women's medium, and I think it fits me really, really well. The plus about going for something like this is that there's it's a name brand, so it might be easy to find. You can find them online. They are a little more expensive, so I would totally check like Plato's Closet, Marshalls, any thrift store if these aren't ones that are near you, but some kind of thrift thing first. You could check eBay and then you could buy one new if that just if you just don't want to deal with that headache. Some other small drawbacks would be they have three stripes. Michiru's jacket has only two. So kind of an inaccuracy thing there, but not the worst thing in the world. Another thing that might be kind of annoying is that it does just straight up say Adidas. You might find that distracting, or if it has like, some of them will have the actual three stripe logo next to it, or that weird little, I don't even know what it's called, but that little symbol. Otherwise, I'd say it's a great fit. If you're trying to save money and you can't find one of these around, or if you want to just go a little bit more for accuracy, there is a red track jacket created by Independent Trading Company. As you can tell, it's a little less branded than the Adidas jacket, and it's a little more accurate to what Michiru wears because it has the two stripes, not three. And a bonus is that you can find these on eBay and some other third-party retailers. I will say to just double check the sizing guide and make sure like if you don't know your measurements, just double check that it'll fit you. I haven't gotten my hands on one, I wanted to, um, but when I saw this at Marshalls, I was like, okay, done. The only caveat for both of the jackets is neither of them have those white pocket covers. I haven't really been able to find anything aside from like the custom cosplay jackets that you can find. So that's the jacket. Next, the other obvious piece of clothing with Michiru is her shorts. Michiru wears these relatively generic looking navy blue running shorts and hers actually have like this kind of greenish trim on them. Before I start talking about what I was able to find, I swear to Uncle Kage, these should have been the easiest shorts to find because to me they just look so generic. Like I used to see people wearing them all the time in like middle and high school, but I had such a hard time finding someone that exact same style. I had to go to eBay, believe it or not, to find like some navy blue-ish shorts that were similar. I don't know if it's just because it's winter right now and that style is out of season, but I swear I see that all the, like that, they look like something that you would easily pick up at like Walmart or Target for like six bucks or something. I've never shopped for this style of shorts before for obvious reasons. So if you're a girl and you know what they're called or if you've like, hey, I know I've seen those at like Target to just wait for the summer or if you just know where they're available on season, please let me know. <laughs> The ones I was able to get from eBay were these Under Armour ones. On the listing, they looked a little more navy, but in person, they're more like a, just a royal blue, like mid mid blue. They do have the stripe on the side, um, and that was really the main thing I was concerned about, but seeing the shade is kind of throwing me off now, and when I was wearing everything together, I was like, yeah, it's kind of not doing it for me. But they're not bad. These are just generic, like, these are these are women's basketball shorts. Usually this style of shorts isn't available so much for guys, so just for reference, I'm like a size 30 or 32 waist for jeans, men's jeans, and these are like a women's medium, so if that's helpful at all. I kind of want to find something else because they kind of don't fit my body that well, and just the shade of blue isn't quite right. A secondary option I found for guys were these really, really nice Brooks Hightail running shorts. They're really short, they're a three inch inseam, so sort of keeping the proportion the same. And the accuracy of the navy blue is much better and they have a green trim. The only caveat is that the trim stripe isn't going vertical, it's like this diagonal split short style. But I think because the color is a little bit better, it would still work really well. Obviously because it's a Brooks running brand short, it's gonna be a little more expensive, but if you want nice shorts anyway, they're very, very nice. The secondary option I found for women's shorts would be these yoga shorts that I found on eBay. I think I was trying to look up like 
women's running shorts navy or something. And eventually I got these things, which seemed kind of like a yoga short. The terminology is still beyond me right now. They're more like a fitting short, which is why I wanted to try them because I want something that actually like conforms a little bit more. Like the shorts I got, they'll just have that vertical white stripe and the white trim around it. So I was like, okay, A plus for that aside from not being green, but that's fine. They're coming from China, it looks like, so they tend to run small. So if you do get a pair, I would order at least one size up, maybe more. I think when I was looking at them, I either needed a large or possibly an extra large, but it's hard to say without actually seeing how stretchy they are in person. They definitely have less of like an athletic, I'm going on a run look, but if they're more your personal style, then you wouldn't be wasting it purely for like a cosplay sake. It would be kind of like something you can wear normally and weave into like a, cosplay-esque thing if you want. Personally, I think they look a little hotter than these basketball running shorts. They're like not as baggy. But yeah, those seem like a good option for kind of the, the women's shorts. Again, if you are a girl and you know what they're called and an easier way to find them, let me know. That's the shorts. Next, we have the tank top situation going on with me to do. Michiru wears this, I think it's like a bra tank top combo. It would be like a black bra and a white tank top. For obvious reasons, I never wear bras and I felt like it would be too, like, I would look too Chad wearing a tank top. So I opted for just like a white shirt. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, just, you know, it's plain, but it works well enough. I think in the future, I might try and find like a white shirt with a black collar or something like that just to kind of make that illusion that that's kind of what's going on. So that's a simple one. Other than that, that's most of the outfit. The rest of the kind of stuff we look at is more like accessories and things. This is gonna go more like the cosplay route and less just wearing a day-to-day -day outfit that's based off of a character. But she's a tanuki, so she's got these kinds of like gloves, sort of. And then she's got like sort of, you know, sock looking things if you look at like her hands and her feet. Maybe this is a bit strange, but I got these like workout gloves because I kind of needed some anyway. Um, something about them sort of fits, like it's almost like a, a human version of the cosplay or something. But um, you could get just generic brown gloves that would work too. Or just any gloves that you would wear day to day depending on the season and stuff like that. I don't think I'm going to be going outside just wearing these unless I'm planning on handling a lot of packages or something. And then socks, you could just wear like long socks of probably black or brown if you want to go more dedicated. As far as shoes go, I was not committed enough to like trying to fit the outfit to buying new shoes because she wears these like mid top, sort of high top basketball shoes. Those just are not my style. I wear like colorful, stupid looking running shoes most of the time. It's like a primarily white mid top basketball shoe or with like a red sole and like red little caps on either side. I haven't been able to find any shoes that look totally perfect, but there's some stuff from Adidas and Nike that I thought looked really good just for reference. But I mean, if you wore Vans, you could probably find like a white Vans high top, or you could do like a red with a white little stripe on it, you know, adapt it to whatever your, your normal day-to-day -day style is. But if you were wanting this more as like an actual cosplay that you could wear to like a convention, I think getting the shoes would help a lot and just getting a nice solid mid top basketball shoe. So here it is with the white shirt that I mentioned and the shorts. Not showing much more with the shorts because they're weirdly revealing on me. I think that's the thing I'm least happy with my own outfit right now. The shorts just don't physically fit me that well and they're like a little too short. I think I've reached that point. I hope if you like the show as much as I did that you found this video either informative or helpful or just fun. I may try doing this again in the future with maybe like some characters from Beastars, although then I'm just gonna start spending a bunch of money at Men's Warehouse, I think. Let me know in the comments if you're able to concoct anything like this just with stuff that you have around the house. And please, for the love of God, if you know what those kinds of shorts are called and know an easy way to find them, please let me know. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Renard Fox, and thank you for watching. Bye. Dibby doo boo, dibby doo boo, dibby doo boo doo.